Here's my fresh squirrel meat stir fry. Red Fox squirrel meat. It's uh, tender and back strap. It's pretty much uh, it's like, oh, uh, I don't know, between chicken and venison. It's really good. Good meat. Yummy. Has its own flavor. Cook it right. This is teriyaki. I, I fillet it out and take it off the bone and everything. And it's a little bit of. Got the carrot and onion and fresh garlic, and we'll be mixing in some dandelion greens, lemon sorrel, fresh beautiful lemon sorrel from the garden, dandelion greens from the garden, and uh, this is, there's some nice mint in here, there's green bell pepper, there's hot uh, chili pepper in here, and nice fresh parsley and I said mint and I've got some nice uh, some green onion gonna put into it and I'm gonna get to chopping all this up right now and then we're gonna put it all in also also I have some fresh uh, sugar cactus from the sugar cactus I have thrown in there and uh, uh, turnip greens. Turnip greens are a little, a little bit more, uh, take a little longer to cook for the stems, so they go in with the meat. That's uh, tendered up. Got everything all chopped up and throw it in now. Hey, everything's all chopped up, all the greens and everything. There's first Brussels greens in here also. I don't think I mentioned that. From a three, three year old Brussels plant. Unfortunately, this is a small baby. There's a nice chunk of meat in there. There's meat in there. And most of them underneath is coming around. Get that all cooked up and plated here. And here it is, all plated up. Red Fox Squirrel Meat Stir Fry with uh, all my special ingredients in it. Robert M. Buchanan's Stir Fry Red Fox Squirrel. There's a piece of nice squirrel meat right there. Nice and nice and browned. Beautifully done. Mmm. Oh, it's tender too. So nice and tender and tasty. Tastes like um, good meat. Tastes better than chicken. Well, they all taste good. It's just a, another well-prepared piece of meat. Don't want to steal anybody's saying, but kill it and grill it. <laughs> Yummy.